Yo, what's good with the guys and welcome everybody back to the channel. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today, man. It's your boy Landon in the Hellcat. We're bringing you guys another video today. And if you guys actually happen to be missing uh, the video from yesterday or a couple days ago where we took the Hellcat to the dyno, definitely go and check that out, guys. We made some pretty impressive power uh, with the Hellcat with just a JLT intake. So it, it was a lot of fun. So make sure you guys go back and check that out. So today, what we're actually is we actually just got new tires ordered for the Hellcat. Just got the car cleaned up yesterday. And uh, we just ordered actually new front tires for the car. As you guys can see, these are pretty bad right now. So let's see, these are actually the P0s. Now what are these? These are a 275, 40, okay, 20. So I ordered 275, 35, 20s is what I ordered. And I went with a Neato. So, uh, and what we actually did was we wanted to put the NT555 G2s on the front, just like I had on my scat pack. And then in the back on this car, we went with the NT555 R2s, which we're gonna talk about today. And we're gonna talk about how well that tire actually has been doing on this car since I ended up buying, you know, them, what, five or six months ago and throwing them on and doing a bunch of racing. So I'm gonna jump in the car. We're gonna get you guys first a startup of the car, just let you guys hear it. And then we're gonna jump on the road and we're gonna talk about the tires. Let's get it. So jumping straight into it and also one other thing I want to say is I'm really sorry about the bad quality in the last video I actually got home and my GoPro was completely dead So I had to just use my phone on that video. So I apologize about that I'm trying to give you guys the best quality content possible, but jumping straight into it The NT triple five r2s you guys are definitely gonna to want to put those on your Hellcat and really the the only reason I recommend the r2s is because the price and the performance that you get from that tire. Now, if you're one of the people out there where you're going to the drag strip and you're daily driving the Hellcat, the R2s, you're gonna want the R2s. Like, it's a great tire. I've put six, I think five or 6,000 miles on this tire. I still got 50 to 60% tread left. So <laughs> that's pretty impressive considering a lot of people were saying the proxies, which are $100 more than the R2, uh, they aren't even able to get like four or 5,000. So, and I've heard that they're actually kind of loud. So there's there's some there's some noise when you're driving that you can hear. With these R2s, I don't hear anything. They're they're pretty quiet for the most part. Now, that being said, if you are looking for just a bunch of miles out of a tire and you just want like an all-season performance tire, go for the on the scat pack, I would go for the G2s all the way around the car. Even though yes, the G2s are not as good as the R2s. The G2s are, if you're looking strictly for performance, do not buy the G2s. But if you're one of the guys out there where you're daily driving the car and you want a performance tire to get 25 or 30,000, buy the G2s. They're 260 bucks. They're not that much money at all. Um, I think they're like 120 or 130 cheaper than the R2s. So yeah, guys, honestly, the R2s on this car, you guys are gonna be able to hook up incredibly well. Just be careful. Once it starts getting a little bit colder out and it starts raining, don't be messing around on those R2s because you will lose traction incredibly easy uh, with that tire. So uh, I think you guys are gonna like it though. I've had a lot of people come back and say on, on my original video that the R2s are freaking awesome. Um, I think they come in right at, I think they're right at 400 bucks, I believe is what they are. Three, three I think they're 380 or 390. Um, and I'm running the 305. There's no rubbing. Somebody asked me about rubbing. There's no rubbing on the stock wheel. Now someone wasn't running a stock wheel and they had a 305 and they were rubbing. So somebody asked me about that. But as far as com comfort, uh, comfortability on this, on this tire is just really great. Man, I tell you what, just a crazy tire. And you guys can even go back and see some of my racing with this tire, how, how fast I hooked up. I mean, people, I had them count a few times on some of the races and I, w I was gone. So uh, definitely is a great tire I would look into, especially if you have a Hellcat. Now, if you have a Scat Pack, 
I always ran a 295 anti 555 G2 on the back of my scat pack and it was only good if you were able to heat up the car but I got 25,000 miles out of that tire and they're only 260 bucks they might be a little bit more now but I believe they're still around the 260 270 range definitely check it out let me know but that tire was awesome too that's just more of like an all-season daily driver daily driving tire so I think you guys would probably be pleased with that one too so definitely check both of them out but I would not put the G2s on a Hellcat <laughs> I would not put the G2s on a Hellcat you're gonna have a you're gonna have a, a tough time with that so all right everyone so yeah go ahead and drop a comment if you guys have any questions about the tires they've been really awesome the R2s are amazing on the Hellcat and really just the G2s are kind of an all-around like good tire you'll get a lot of miles out of them so anyways I just want to let you guys know I did order new tires and they should be here in about three or four days Anyways, we will see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have an awesome rest of your day.